cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a cancer between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm. Are y'all trusting y'all selves more? Y'all starting to see people, places, things a bit differently and knowing, God damn, I got to get the snakes up off me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tio channel. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time viewing, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Oh, but I do cuss. All right? So if cussing is not for you, please find you one of these beautiful readers on YouTube that can assist you further, who resonates with you the best without using profane language because I'm country. I'm from the South, and I'm a cuss. My higher self cusses. All right? We have an understanding. So it's about you being real with yourself. I don't love you any less. I love you a long time. Uh, to my new subscribers, old subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family, y'all, current family members, y'all. What the hell is going on? What's popping? How does Venus and Scorpio been treating you? For me, I'm tired. I'm motherfucking tired. Uh, but we got to push through. So for new family members, y'all, welcome to the family. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel because Mocha don't play that shit. Y'all, we do love. We cuss. We share. We love. We, uh, we grow. We evolve. We enlighten. It's about positive vibes only. We trying to ascend. We ain't trying to stay down here because ain't nowhere else to go when you fall on your face. But uh, you understand, we soul family. We family for a reason. Come accepting, come receiving, come judgment free because we don't do that over here. All right. So, y'all, this is a personal. It's not a general. If you need a personal, I'm currently taking emergency readings. For those of you who are so used to Mocha being able to schedule the same day, like, Mocha, you can give me in a day? No. So, unless you pay for an emergency reading, I can no longer... um do readings the same day, y'all, because things are expanding for the kid. Y'all, how about I got a little audition to go be in the movie? Y'all already know. I'm just, so things are expanding. Things are growing. Um, I'll be having to fall back away from a lot of things and get my mind right, you know, as far as people. Sometimes you need that peace and quiet just to come think. So here. I'm in my peace and quiet zone, okay? So, y'all, I miss y'all so very much. I know y'all like, where the hell is Mocha been, y'all? I've been expanding, going through massive-ass downloads, um, really trying to understand some things, uncovering truths in my own life, and also just really being accepting. Things are not picture-perfect, and you know I'm pretty transparent, so I tell y'all, you know, I've been, the energy intuitively that I feel for y'all, and this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross-watchers for the sign of cancer between November the 15th and the 30th. Um, you all, um, y'all, the energy I felt for y'all was like, what the hell is next? Like, what's next for me? That's the energy I felt. I also felt a push and pull of the ego. I also felt, mm, I don't trust your ass. Um, take that high resonate because some of y'all just feel like y'all don't trust people. Um, I also felt a feeling of like obsession. Some of y'all are really, really, really wanting somebody to come back. I also feel a feeling of like needing to let go. And I also felt a feeling of sleep this nice, like insomnia. Like I got a little jittery and shit when I start meditating on y'all energy. So I don't know how that applies to everybody, but take what resonates, y'all. We rock it. Let's get it. So cancer, y'all, and thank you so much for y'all like, share, subscribe, and comment. Please continue to do so because I read every single comment. I may can't reply because shit done picked up all mocha, baby. But um, just know that I read every last one of them and I try to um, react to each and every one just to let y'all know I love you back, baby. I send you my love through the ethers. So let's get it. Spirit, what do you have in store for my babies? The cancers between the 15th and 30th of November. Some of y'all feel like shit is all over the place. <laughs> yeah, some of you are. Like I said, some of y'all was waiting for someone to come in and stabilize or bring you some truth in order to give you that releasing of heaviness. But some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Some of you all are really needing to meditate more. There's a strong focus on your throat chakra because I feel like some of y'all, the truth comes, within, comes from within. Trust your intuition. Some of you all are really needing to be in touch with your emotions during this time, but you're really needing to use your intellect. If a motherfucker then showed you who they are, what they're about, what they bring into the table, how they take and not add to your life, why do you want to keep rolling the dice and, and signing contracts with the devil? I, you, you come on now. You know, some of you all, you're in this very loving space. There's going to be a flooding of feminine energy coming towards cancer. So a lot of y'all may be having dreams during this time um, of your lover, okay, of your twin flame for some of you all, of karmic soulmates. And you're going to be very reminiscent. For some of you all during this time, spirit is going to be um, 
sending you all blessings, but it's going to come through other people. So that pride and that, mm, I don't trust your ass, check it at the door because you might just block your blessing. Some of you all um, are really, really, really going to be um, receiving blessings from spirit during this time. Some of you all really hold a key to your own happiness, but you have to choose to want to see things for what they are. During this time, y'all crown chakra is booming. Third eye is going to be expanding. And lots of, a lot of y'all who have premonition, like premonitions and things of that nature, you really need to be out in nature more during this time. I know it's getting cold, but you got to do what you got to do to hone your abilities to get out of this fearful place. New intuitives. There's a focus on your root chakra, baby, and your um your root chakra as well as your throat chakra you needing to speak your truth and also release some of that energy that you've been holding in cancer some of y'all really needing to extract you needing to go out in nature during this time especially if you don't yeah i got my nose itching especially if you don't have any strong um earth in your chart some of you all y'all crown chakra is expanding spirit is bestowing knowledge and wisdom onto you and some of you all you're learning your life purpose during this time you're a healer there's a divine union trying to take place for some of you all is happening with the self. That's the balancing of the masculine and the feminine energy so that you can move forward. But some of y'all, didn't I tell y'all some spirits going to send people in y'all life to bestow blessings upon you? You got the hero card. Some of you all who have been in burden some situations during this time, you're really needing to release that lack mindset, lack frame, the lack frame of mind, okay? Quit think, you think not, you have not. You know, you are what you attract. So... Attract, try to speak into your life abundance, try to speak into your life wealth, try to speak prosperity, try to speak that peace into your life. It starts with you for real, for real. Some of you all, but you're definitely needing to fucking talk. Some of y'all are really needing to speak and extract your energy, okay, in order to truly, truly, truly manifest that law of attraction, practice that law of attraction and getting what it is that you desire because what it is that you desire is right in the midst of your hands, but some of y'all are expecting outcomes and so you're holding on to those expected outcomes and spirit is like, ha ha I got the surprise for you it is not the way that you think it is going to be, so you're needing to speak your truth, stand your ground hold your boundaries the fuck wide open. I'm not saying build a damn wall a thousand feet tall. I'm just strictly saying be in tune with your emotions because some of y'all are going to be healing empathic during this time so you'll be able to feel the emotions of others. you usually this way anyway, but it's going to be the intensity of it is, is lit right now during Scorpio season and it will continue. I'm here until about February 2019. So you're needing to truly, well, those of us who are by ourselves, good feeling like you, you are never alone. Your guides and your angels, God, the most high, mother universe, they're always with you. It's just how you perceive it. A lot of, during this time, butterflies, frogs, Turtles, turtles, so whoever lives it, rabbits, they're going to be some of you all spirit animals. You need to look them up, especially if you've been having, if you're going to, if you find yourself having synchronistic encounters with them, look at what time it is also and see how they synchronize with one another. Look at the spirit, uh, look up what that spirit animal means so they can better assist you because I'm definitely getting a pool of frogs and turtles and some of you all snakes. And I feel like the snakes, since the snakes that I'm seeing in my third, I have like, shifting faces some of y'all really need to uh, watch who you telling your business to at this time because they went they ain't they ain't on your team baby i might spirit show me the messages for the sign of cancer and love between the 15th and the 30th of november yes yeah, some of you all are having the decision to make between two people two places two things uh for some of you all you really need to find that balance within the self yeah some of y'all definitely seeing two 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 during this time which have to do with balance okay but some of you all you're probably possibly having to choose during this time between two a love or two soulmates okay but some of you all it could be an aries leo sagittarius as well as a water sign some of y'all are in love with somebody who comes in and out your damn life this could be strong sagittarian energy this could also be aries and leo some of you all have a younger fire sign that really wants to make you an offer, okay? But this fire sign is in and out of your life because they have two options. There's going to be um, this sense of truth and revelation. For some of you all, you have a soulmate that's a Leo, okay? Some of you all are going to be welcoming in new children. Congratulations, Cancer. I'm going to love the kids. I love them babies. Um, but some of you all are being very defensive towards the Leo because this motherfucker is in and out your life. You're ending that cycle by standing your ground. Spirit says good work. Congratulations, Cancer. For those of you who are doing it, graduation time, baby. It's time to grow. Who the fuck do these people think they are to come in our lives and just think you could just do what the fuck you want to do? Who you think you is? Uh, 
when people allow you to hand them the scissors, baby, cut it off and believe them, okay? And the fact that I said that and two tens fell out, but in the fact that the ten of swords fell out first, but some of you in that cycle, yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. For some of you, you're ending the cycle with an air sign. It's going to hurt. But look who around the corner knocking. This Mr. Ten of Cups. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? <laughs> happiness bid. Open up. I'm coming in. Okay? Look, let the happiness in. Okay? What are you doing? What you waiting for? All right? Let's get it. Some of you all could truly be happy with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like he's stubborn. You don't trust this person possibly because this damn fire sign behavior. Some of y'all going to have y'all happiness and y'all love. Y'all going to be sharing y'all love uh, with a Virgo. For some of you, true love is going to find you. Once you stop searching and just say, fuck it, I give up, that's when love comes. <laughs> let me in. It's happiness, bitch. And then if you don't let them in, they're going to kick the door down. <laughs> they ain't taking no for answer. They're going to hold on like your ass. All right? Some of you all, yeah, some of you all, um, are possibly going to just put the burden down when it comes to dealing with a younger fire sign. You're just over it. I feel like this person makes you feel like you're not enough. Yeah, makes you feel internally conflict. It's crazy. This is one of my best high priestess shit today. And it's crazy. 1111 was lit for me. Some of y'all, whatever dream that you had on 11, thank, thank you, Spirit. Whatever dream you had on 1111, whatever was revealed to you, so be it. Whether you liked it or not, Spirit is showing you what's going on behind the scenes. And be grateful because many a call, if you were chosen, you were able to see it. Just imagine how many people out here walking like zombies. Say thank you, Spirit. Gratitude brings greatness. Some of you all are very internally conflict about a, a, about a fire sign. This is soulmate connection here. And for some of y'all, it's a karmic connection. Some of y'all, you have to choose between a life partner and a karmic soulmate. And you love the tools of them. But you have not even experienced or allowed yourself to experience the love that this soulmate brings because you're holding on to this dusty motherfucker who is not vibrating with you. Some of y'all are truly, some of y'all, some of y'all really need to let this hurt go when it comes to dealing with an Aquarian. Because some of y'all, y'all ended a cycle possibly with an Aquarius. You let this person back into your life. I feel like and during this time, you and this person going to be closing this chapter yet again because it's about what you learn. But some of you all, some of y'all could actually be getting pregnant, okay, possibly by Virgo. I see Pisces. I see Taurus. I see Aries. I see Libra. Okay, but some of y'all are pregnant and in solitude mode because ultimately you want your happiness. You want your ten of cups. However, I feel that there's a need to heal internally, okay, in order for you to be open to receiving the healing externally, all right? Because I feel like for some of you, you feel stuck. You could definitely be dealing with a damn Sagittarius and a Leo is in the building. Um, Or Aries, shit, they go to the Emperor card. For some of you all... You really want karmic justice. Some of y'all could also be uh, finding out truth and clarity regarding someone who you're married with. I'm married to. I feel like there's some truth being illuminated about a child. Okay. And it's going to end the cycle with you and another person, but it's going to bring you into a new cycle as long as you continue to be receptive towards love. And this person could be a Virgo, could also be a Leo. This person could also be um, an Aquarian person. This person could be Libra. Some of y'all are married to a Libra. Some of y'all going to find out if this person got outside children or these children. This children situation could involve. I see Libra, I see Aries, I see Aquarius, I see Sagittarius, I see Pisces, I see Leo. Um, take it how that resonates because shit's hitting the fan, all right? The, the veil is no more. You can see people, places, things smooth for what the fuck they are. If they're no good for your life, spirit is no longer going to allow you to overlook it because the red flags is going to come up and boop, smack your ass in the face just like that. So some of you are... Wanting to accept an offer from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you in your damn head about where you've been at. Know that you had to go through that, okay? There is definitely truth and clarity coming around a situation that involves children. This could involve the justice system, okay? Some of y'all could be taking somebody to court during this time. I'm here in paternity, so some of y'all could actually be going through something involving a paternity test in order to move things forward. Um, the justice is upright, Cancer, so I feel like this will actually work in your favor. Some of y'all could also be releasing yourself from people. Some of y'all is divorcing a damn leap, or some of y'all separated from a statue, and you mean what you're saying. Some of y'all is really not accepting an offer from a Capricorn and this person really wants to love on you but you haven't really been equally given to the situation because you kind of been in your head about that hurt let that hurt go go 
Let that hurt go, sis. Some of y'all are kind of in y'all head about walking away from a Capricorn because this person is controlling and they make you feel like bonded or toxic. Or, or like They make you feel bonded to them even though they tear you down. It's like they feel empowered with breaking you down like a bicycle. And it's up to you to allow, keep allowing that shit and keep accepting that shit because cancer, you're tired, okay? You're tired. Some of y'all are feeling like you, some of y'all are being slaves to your loyalty when it comes to work. You know damn well that job don't make your ass happy, cancer, but you're scared to move away. During this time, you're going to re receive blessings from the universe. You're going to have more than one option. Whatever this is, if it has to do with work, you're going to have more than one option. Hit the dough, break fast, and run like hell, okay? That's my, that is my advice for a cancer, but you're definitely needed to make a decision every two that's in the deck, two of swords, two of pentacles, two of cups, as well as the two of wands is definitely in the building. So y'all definitely needed to make a decision that definitely is going to require balance. You're going to have to let something go in order to obtain something else. You're going to sacrifice for some beautiful, you got to sacrifice for some beautiful shit. You can't have it all. You got to pick a side, okay? If this is not you, this is the person within your energy. I see a little bit of everybody here, so take it as it resonates. I love y'all very, 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 very much. If you're going to be cross-watching for Aries, I'm going live with they ass in about 20 minutes. So I love you very much. Mwah. Bye, my babies. Much love, much light. Namaste. If you need that personal, hit me up. I got you. Bye, boo.